Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So today's Swedish word is wish list, which is önskelista. Önskelista. So for today's video, I am going to talk a little bit about some makeup that I currently have on my wish list. I did, haven't done one of these videos in a very, very long time. Um, I do, do different spins on wish lists, like makeup that I want but I don't need and so on. Obviously, I don't need any more makeup, but you know how it is. Some products you just want to own them and some other products you feel like you would get a lot of use out of and that is what i'm going to do today but i just wanted to say that if you like this makeup that i have going on i did do a tutorial with it and i used my palette in collaboration with blush tribe which looks like this i know that i feature this in a lot of videos but i thought that i would be or i thought that it could be fun for you guys to see looks that i have done with this since this is my channel and i know that a lot of you guys have purchased this just because you want to support me and so on i thought that it could be fun to see me use it so yeah i have done a video with that i did upload that on january 1st so i'll link that video right up here so you can go ahead and check it out after you've seen this video of course but i'm just going to start off with the first product i have and this is totally mel thompson's fault i love mel she does a lot of like luxury makeup she uses a lot of luxury makeup and uh she uses a lot of expensive shit <laughs> and this is her fault because she loves two different bronzers and one of the bronzers that she loves I have which is the balm I'm gonna show you it's this one it's the balm take on the bronze bronzer and I also love this she has this in the same shade that I have and this is in the shade Oliver it's a perfect cool tone blush bronzer I mean but she also included in her yearly favorites I will of course link her uh, down below and also her yearly favorite video so you can go ahead and check that out for yourself but she included the bronzer from Jouer and I have been eyeing that so many times because Jouer was actually one of the brands that I really wanted to try in 2018 and I actually ended up trying some of their products I didn't try a lot of their lip products and so on and no eyeshadows but I really really love their face products so for instance I tried their highlights and I tried their blushes and I love both of them so I'm pretty sure that I would love the, the bronzer I currently have it on Beauty Bay in my card maybe when you see this video I have already bought it who knows but yeah it's really a bronzer that is so beautiful and since she has stamped her okay on it I feel like it would be it would be nice uh, to own another product that I know that Mel Thompson has and loves is the Natasha Denona gold palette I know who am I I'm so sorry this is not a video about Mel but I feel like I should give her some credit because as I said she does a lot of reviews of expensive makeup so she has done a lot of reviews on for instance Natasha Denona palettes and so on and I as a consumer and as a consumer that lives in a country where I cannot return makeup really appreciates it because if I'm gonna fork out that much money I really need to know that it's a good palette and it's a good product and a lot of Natasha Denona's palettes have been hit or miss but the gold palette Mel has given her a little approved sign on I know that Teresa is dead also really loves that palette and so many other creators loves that palette Nicole Renee Cutler is another one and I for some reason really really want to pick that up which is crazy because I don't really love gold sh shadows but those golds aren't really golds like some of them have a little bit of a green gold to them and it really gives me a little bit of that subculture vibe and you guys know I love love subculture I recently did two throwback videos with that palette that I can link in my description box in case you want to check it out but I am just like oh, I really want it and the good thing is that it is sold out in Sweden as we speak I did put in my email uh, so I will get an email when that one is back in stock and who knows I might purchase it might I don't know maybe we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see Hmm. I have two concealers that I am currently eyeing and I I know which one I should purchase if we're gonna be reasonable when it comes to the price but I'm gonna mention both of them so the first one is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer that everyone and their mama keeps raving about I'm so sorry I have like a lash glue that is really like clinging to my eyelashes but okay sorry the Too Faced concealer as I said <laughs> that one everyone and their mama keeps talking about so i really really want it but i hate shopping at sephora i hate it i don't know why but i hate it also um 
last year I tried to pan all of my concealers and I am getting down to it. I think I only have one backup left, which is one from ColourPop. So I do have maybe full jars, maybe three full jars that I need to go through. Um, not only from the ColourPop ones, but some other concealers, but just talking like full. But the other one that I really want is from Jouer and it's their newest concealer. I don't know if they have other concealers, but the thing is that the Jouer one is cheaper. It's easier accessible, but the good deal actually lies with Too Faced because I think I looked this up and the Jouer one only contains around four or five milliliters of product and the Too Faced one contains 15 milliliters of product, which is half of a foundation. That is cray cray, like that is insane. But Sephora in Sweden has this minimum, so you have to purchase for minimum of 550 crowns and if you don't you have to pay shipping and i don't want to pay shipping i hate paying for shipping and i hate buying makeup in store i know that that is super duper unpopular opinion but i really really hate buying makeup in stores i love to order it it's a lot more calmer and i like the experience more than going into a store standing in line and just I just don't like it. Maybe I'll go for the Jouer one, but the better deal actually lies with Too Faced. Or maybe I'll purchase it if I do end up purchasing anything from Natasha Denona, because that only sells at Sephora. And if I purchase something from her, I will definitely go over the <laughs> line. But another product that I really want from Natasha Denona is her Cranberry palette that is so freaking beautiful. I have been wanting that palette for so long, and I know that who was it I saw? I think it was Karen Harris. She did a makeup tutorial. I love when Karen does makeup tutorials because she is really doing these um, easy but still glam looks. She's not going and doing her eyeshadow for like two hours. She just really puts it on there. It feels like I'm saying that in a negative way and I don't mean it, but she does it in a way that I usually do it on my day to day when I'm just kind of needing to put on some shadows and then run out the door. Karen is amazing at that. And I love the eye shape that she has. Eyeshadow on her is really, really beautiful. So I'll link her down below as well. But I think it was Karen that did a, a tutorial with the Cranberry palette from Natasha Denona and I was just sold. It looked so beautiful, but there's something about it because that one I think retails for $48. And there's something about it. I don't want to pay $48 for a Natasha Denona palette. I would go ahead and pay maybe $129 or $25. So the price is kind of holding me back. Another product that I currently have my eyes on is the Dose of Colors, what is that called? Blushing Berries palette or something? I'll have a picture on it right here so you can see and then the correct name in my description box. I don't really, I always forget the name of it. So I'll have that in my description box, but that one is just beautiful. It's just perfection and Everyone keeps raving about the Dose of Color Matte Formula and how good it is, so I really want to try it. I really, really want to, and I think that this would go really well together with my shimmer palettes that I have. But at the same time, it's like I probably already have all of these colors, so I shouldn't. But that one metal shade, the like brightest shade, is so stunning. I really, really want it, but oh. <laughs> So that was some of the products that I currently have on my wish list. Please let me know which product you have on your wish list. And I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please feel free to thumbs the video down. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.